live to feel baby. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. What's good, folks? Welcome to Checkpoint Church, Church for Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. How we feeling? Oh, it's still not. Yeah, it's right, right there is where I want it. Precisely there. What's up, folks? How we doing? Long power outage night. Is it because of storms? Because the thunderstorms are insane right now. Um, my dog has just been shivering nonstop for the past like 12 hours. We got so many wonderful people in the chat. What's up, everybody? Welcome into Sneaky Zando, Maybe 30, Mayfly, ER Fields, Fluffy, Wise and Lemur, Hunter Fam. Welcome, welcome, folks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Glad that you're here. Scheduled fix after our crazy ice storm outage. Ah. I was awake until 4.30 this morning for zero good reasons. I feel that. I feel that. Rip to Mayfly for not getting first. It's a true shame. A true shame. And I did share in there. 33 months, folks. Can you believe that? That was so loud. <laughs> we don't need this anymore. Why does this camera still turn on? All right, well, that's fine. I guess I'll show you what you get. That was the original purpose of this, but it never worked after the first, like, two times. And now it works every time. So now you just see my desk. What's the point of just seeing my desk for just a quick, quick hot second? Zando, appropriately enough. Can you see it? Movie, movie game. That's what it was for. That's why that camera's there in the first place. I have a whole camera. Ooh, that was a rough one. Dos. Dos movie, movie games. All right. Your first one, Zando. Bruce Lee's son is murdered and comes back as a vengeful emo joker to wreak havoc upon a musical farming community located in a state just north of Texas. Okay, we're gonna read that again. Bruce Lee's son is murdered and comes back as a vengeful emo joker to wreak havoc upon a musical farming community located in a state just north of Texas. That's a tough one, but it's a funny one. Tough one, but it's a funny one. It is the Croklahoma. The Croklahoma. Chats in the clap for Zando. Second one, second one, here we go. A bunch of hardworking oil drillers are rocketed into space to blow up a man who believes he is the world's greatest lava. A bunch of hardworking oil drillers are rocketed into space to blow up a man who believes he is the world's greatest lover. I would not have gotten this one. Close, you're very close. You are correct that it is Armageddon Don Juan, but there's one more word after Don Juan in that movie title. This is a different Don Juan, if I'm thinking of the same one. This is Marlon Brando's Don Juan that helps your answer. What's up, ER Fields? Pop champ, pop champ, pop champ. How we doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Folks, if you have not been following uh, ER Fields' Twitter, doing great work. Doing great work out there. I've, I've been enjoying all the wonderful content that you've been putting out there. Lots of exciting stuff. You know, you always get me with the Pokemon content. Anytime I see Pokemon, I'm drawn in. That is correct. Armageddon Juan DeMarco. Chats in the clap for Zando. Just tapping into the YouTube se sector. It's actually very fun. I love YouTube. I'm a YouTube native. Am I falling? Does anybody else feel like I'm falling over? 
Like this, like right- hang on. Hang on. I can do this. Right now, it looks like I'm straight up. Ah, uh, yeah, something's up. Hang on, hang on. That feels better, right? That feels better. Am I wrong? A little tilty. Yeah. Better or best? Proper? Gotta lurk, hide away for a bit. All good, Zando. Goes to annual conference, suddenly everything's thrown off by a few degrees. That's right. Well, now that I'm officially ordained, it's just the weight of my presence, you know? That humble presence. The humble presence of an ordinary. By the way, folks, that is the reason here for this giant lol W behind me. Uh, this is my face in the, the official pictures that will go in the journal of the United Methodist Church West North Carolina Conference 2023 or ordination pictures. This is the ordinating class of 2023. My eyes are closed. The journal picture. Eyes are closed. Yes. Yes. Archived forever. This is the journal of the United Methodist Church. Eyes closed. <laughs> forever and ever, amen. Eyes closed. Can't handle it. Folks, Steam Next Fest started one minute ago. And so our goal this week is we're going to be doing a Steam Fest, Steam Next Fest takeover. This entire week for all three of our streams, excluding Twig. Twig will be the only thing that's still going to happen. Everything else is up for grabs. We're going to be doing all sorts of demos and fun things like that. So Steam Next Fest is a festival that they have on Steam about three times, four times a year, give or take. And um, yes, we've already had that talk. We, we, we lamented for you, Sneaky Pigs. It only happens a couple times a year and they release hundreds of demos for indie games. And uh, I'm stealing Jate's idea and playing as many as I can over the course of the week. So that's going to be our goal for this time together is we're going to probably start the first hour just looking through all the demos and downloading them. And then... Uh, for the latter two hours, we're going to just play some. We're going to see what we can do. There are quite a few that I already have on my list that I want to play. The only issue is I don't know how long the demos are. And I, I kind of want to play some of the, excuse me, shorter ones so that we don't, um, so that we don't uh, use our entire time on like two games. Because I know that I want to play Eternites. I'm very excited about that one. I want to play Stray Gods. Those are two that I'm extremely excited about, but I also want to be very careful about because they might be longer demos. So I don't know yet. Time will tell what we do. I'm open to concepts and ideas, but we're going to look through all of them. So we got plenty of games to look through and, and find out what we want to play. No care whatsoever. No, I'm heartless. I'm a truly heartless person. By the way, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day weekend to all the dads out there. Either whether you are a, a, a dad by natural birth, whether you're a dad by adoption, a dad by fostering, a dad by care, a dad by desire, a dad by whatever uh, metric, or, or even if you choose not to be a dad, we appreciate you. We thank you. We want to honor you with that time yesterday. So I hope that you had a wonderful Father's Day yesterday. And that's why I had to wear my dad of girls hashtag outnumbered shirt. I do have two daughters and that is all the kiddos we will have. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. So... Uh, that is the, the the reason behind this wonderful shirt that I think I got for Father's Day two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Oh boy, the hair is the hair is all over the place today. And looking in the ah, the camera, the camera has me backwards. The camera, okay. I can't stand looking at myself, and I do it for a living. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, folks, we're gonna play Jeopardy. If you've never played Jeopardy with us before, it is a uh, game that you should know, Jeopardy, uh, you will be answering a question with the question, only you do not have to put it. I'm starting over. You know what Jeopardy is. I'm not going to talk down to you. You know Jeopardy. This is a game that we play here on stream. It is first come, first serve. You do not have to buzz in. You do not have to answer the form of a question. The first person to put the correct answer in the chat is the one that gets the points. The points uh, add up over the course of a quarter until our next checkathon. At our next checkathon, whatever the highest scoring person is, will get a free Vigi game, which by the way, Sneaky, I still need to get you yours. I've got it written down. I'm going to do it. 
Um, Sneaky was our winner last time, and this is just a way to encourage a little bit of fun uh, competition in the community and in this space. So we're gonna get started with that. Okay, your first prompt, your first Jeopardy prompt is, the category is Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island for 600 points. The answer, this title character travels to the islands of Laputa and Lilliput. This title character travels to the islands of Laputa and Lilliput. It is indeed Gulliver, Gulliver's Travels. Chats in the clap. Speaking of great stories or great story, I just finished the Fellowship of the, of the Ring for my um, 1001 books, which is very fun and exciting. Next up, second one, last one. We only do two Jeopardy prompts in a day unless you pull one in the Gachapon machine. Category remains the same, Fantasy Island for 1K, 1,000 points. The answer, the sole survivor of a shipwreck. This title character washes up on a desolate island on September 30th, 1659. The sole survivor of a shipwreck, this title character washes up. It is indeed Robinson Crusoe. Chats in the cloud for maybe 30. Ooh, getting very close. Very close, maybe 30 to your third place spot, but not quite there. You're just, you're, you're this neck and neck for third place with Stained. All right. Our top three are in third place, Stained Glass Rebel with 5,200 points. Second place, Zando Calrissian with 9,500 points. First place, Sneaky Pigs with 10K, 900 chats in the cloud for all our wonderful participants. Thanks for playing along, being a part of the stream. We appreciate you. So yeah, as I mentioned, folks, we're gonna be uh, looking through Steam Next Fest. Let's see if it is populated yet. Hmm. It hasn't populated for me yet. There it is. Okay, we got a lot to look through. So what we're gonna do is... What's up, Cam? Welcome back. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but um, Steam Next Fest is happening right now, and there is a demo for Eternites. Uh, if we do not play it on stream soon, I will definitely be playing it on my old time this week. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one, and let's do bow, bow, bow. No, it doesn't like that. Poor game. Bizarre. Okay, let's do this then. Let's turn that off. Uh, I don't know what's about to happen. Okay, good. <laughs> I did the flash method <laughs> out of fear for what was about to happen. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna show our, just show display. For whatever reason, Steam doesn't want to populate. It's probably to like, keep my passwords or something safe. Um, I hope nothing goes wrong! <laughs> uh, they have a demo for the Invincible. My day is shot. Love it. I'm hyped to try that. Not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow, but I may try the next time I stream instead of Tears of the Kingdom. Well, this is only live for this week. I don't know how long they'll keep their demos going, but we're gonna, we're gonna look through them, and we're gonna add plenty of demos to our roster download them and have all sorts of fun with that. So let's figure out how to use this site. So yes, going from literally right now until the 26th, until Sunday. Or no, next Monday, right? So it looks like Penny Larceny is already right in the, right in the first one. Install the demo if you want to. Okay, so all these are, got it, got it, got it. I wanna browse all. How can I just browse all of them? Is this all of them? Okay, I guess we're just gonna scroll down and find the best ones. So this should be fun. Penny Larson is such a great name, isn't it though? Very fun. All right, Lies of P, I have no intention of playing. Warhaven, PVP, no thanks. Wizard with a gun. <laughs> I love the name, Wizard with a gun. Uh, okay, it's cool, so I can add a wish list that easily too. All right, The Invincible. Why should we play this, Sneaky? What is The Invincible? 
Rethink Humans, Dominion, and the Invincible, a story-driven adventure set in a hard sci-fi world by Stanislaw Lem. Discover planet Regis III as a scientist, Yasna. Use atom punk tools looking for a missing crew and face unforeseen threats. You may have to let us know, and we'll play that one later on in the week, Sneaky. Let us know how it goes. On Guard, a swashbuckler action game. No thanks. Station to Station is a minimalist and relaxing game about building railway connections. Ooh, wait, hang on. It actually reminds me a lot of, um... Oh, what's the name of the game? Oh, uh, man, you're like a subway sto station owner, and you're connecting subways together, and they're like triangles, squares, and circles. Ah, I love that game, whatever it is. Jump Light Odyssey. Keep hope alive on your adventure to the mythical forever star. Gather survivors, repair and build out your starship, brave black holes, and fend off attacks while managing the daily soap opera of your colorful crew. Interesting. I like the art. Viewfinder. Oh, wait. Oh, I definitely want to play this. Okay, yeah, we're installing that demo. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to play that. I wonder, can I, like, add it to a list? No. All right. Eternites, we're going to go ahead and install. House Flipper 2. I mean, House Flipper is pretty fun, pretty cool, but probably not, probably not for this time. Uh, Shadow Gambit, The Cursed Crew. Welcome to the Lost Caribbean in the stealth strategy game. Join a ghost ship with a living soul and assemble a cursed pirate crew. Embrace mm, magical powers to defy the menacing army of the Inquisition. Grand Emprise. Time travel survival. Time travel through history to become God. Huh. Okay. Pacific Drive. Survive the anomaly-filled Olympic exclusion zone with a car as your only lifeline. Scavenge resources, no demo, from abandoned research sites. Lead up your trusty station, or load up your trusty station wagon, and drive like hell to make it through alive. Interesting. Oh, no, I'm noticing not a lot more demos here. Paleo Pines. Welcome to Paleo Pines, a charming island known for its friendly dinosaurs. No, thank you. Um, Ghost Trick, I fully intend on playing the entire game, but I guess we could install the demo. I fully intend on playing the whole, the well, whole ding a dang game. Nahulbeck? 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 You find her looks sweet. I've seen some cool stuff for you. Yeah, we're definitely gonna try that one out. Does anybody know how to pronounce Nahulbeck? I'm gonna say Nahulbeck's Dungeon Master. A dungeon in danger. Build, manage, and defend your dungeon in the satirical, heroic fantasy universe of Dungeon of Nahulbeck. Okay. Laika, oh, I love that art already. Laika H2 Blood is a Western inspired Motorvania. Set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland is the story about a tribe oppressed by occupant forces and the personal story of a mother coyote warrior. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Mind over magic. Design, build, and manage your magic school to explore what lies below. Study lost arcana, grow exotic plants, brew potions, and raise undead servants. Only you can prepare your fragile students to harness their mind over magic. Looks okay. Hammer Watch 2. I like the, I like the throwback. Gather your heroes and journey beyond the dungeons of Castle Hammerwatch to explore a pixelated world like never before. Aid King Roland's resistance while helping villagers along the way. Battle beasts. Finish off uh, hordes of the undead. Blah, 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 blah. Looks interesting. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Punch Club was one of my favorite games, so I'm very interested about Punch Club 2, but I'll probably plan on playing that one anyway. Uh, Dear Candidate. Wait, hang on. A deck building. Ooh! Heretics Fork, dear candidate, we're pleased to invite you to take up the position of manager of hell. You'll punish sinners by using our deck building computer system to construct hellish towers capable of keeping the endless hordes. I'm really tempted. That sounds super interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I guess I could be adding some of these to wish lists. Like I know I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna want to play that. I'm gonna want to play that. I'm gonna want to play that. Probably gonna want to play that. I'm still waiting on Sneaky to sell me on the Invincible. Okay. Fortunes Run. Explore a decaying industrial world left behind in humanity's never-ending race to conquer the stars. Beneath its iron skies, desperate souls kill and steal for passage to the still plentiful frontier world. I like the, like, Doom art style. Interesting. Maybe. Ebenezer in the Invisible World. Embark on a story-rich 2D Metroidvania adventure with... Uh, breathtaking hand-drawn art. Ooh, I kind of just want to see the art. Maybe. Quasimorph, take on the role of a hardened PMC fighter in a dark turn-based extraction RPG. 
Engage in unforgiving combat, manage your ship, and pile up the bodies of your clones to unravel the dark mystery behind threat to all life. Okay, so it's a it's a roguelite. Hmm, maybe. I need more information. Gord! Gord is a single-player adventure strategy. To survive, you must build, but to prevail, you must conquer the darkness beyond the gates. In this dark fantasy world, you must complete quests. No, thank you. Moonstone Island, you know it, baby. You know it, baby. Yes, absolutely. Sticky business. Create stickers. I mean, I'm here for it, but also, no, thank you. Maybe later. Maybe later. I'll play the demo and let you know my thoughts. Please do, Sneaky. For the King 2... Uh, battle against Valrul's tyrannical queen alone, or as a party of four players in the sequel to For the King. Okay, well, I've never played For the King, so I feel like I shouldn't play that one. Broken Roads is a narrative-driven RPG that brings exploration, strategic turn-based combat, and meaningful philosophical choices to an all-new Australian post-apocalyptic setting. It looks like OG Fallout. We're going to try it. Pathfinder. Oh, wait. The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. Immerse yourself in an enchanting narrative experience uh, as Fortuna, a fortune teller witch condemned to exile on her asteroid home. Craft your own tarot deck, uh, regain your freedom, and reshape the fate of the Cosmic Witch Society. Hmm. I do love visual novels, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Pathfinder, probably not. New cycle. Build a new civilization out of the chaos of an apocalyptic solar flare as you grow your house from a lone shelter to an industrial metropolis. Take on the burden of preserving life itself and help your people realize their aim. Mm -hmm. Thronefall. Minimalist game. I like the art style a lot about building and defending your little kingdom. Honestly, that would be kind of nice as just like a little palette cleanser, so I'm going to install that one. Venba is a short narrative cooking game. Ooh, I'm on board. I'm on board with the uniqueness of that one already. We're gonna give it a shot. Stray Gods! No! What do you mean no demo? I definitely have a demo. Hang on. I may have to go to my um, Humble Bundle account. Don't let me forget. Somebody type in the chat real fast, Humble Bundle, if you will, to remind me so that I don't lose my marbles. Kind of on board here as well. We're gonna give it a shot. If you are around and near a keyboard. Thank you, Cam. Appreciate you. Norland is a medieval kingdom sim that generates stories. Manage your noble family and face with class society, crime, slave revolts, religious conflict, economic issues, personal relations, treachery, secret murders, and spectacular battles. I'm not not on board, but I'm not on board. Questmaster. Questmaster is a dungeon maker inspired by the classics. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. This is the one that's like, um, uh... That's supposed to be like a Mario Maker, but for um, Legend of Zelda. Yes. Pizza Possum. Life is simple when you're a possum. Love to steal food. All the food. The world is your oyster, except when you're haunted by guard dogs and otherwise quiet and picturesque town. That won't stop. Okay. Steam World Build. Oh, that's like Steam World Dig. Wasn't that a big one? Ludo. Ludo is a first-person psychological horror narrative experience. Ooh. Where you play the role of an un individual unable to leave his own home. I'm so on board, but I can't. I can't put you guys through that but I'll probably play that one on my own time. One Lonely Outpost? I'm kinda down. Mm. Yeah, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Kingdom 80s. Kingdom 80s is a standalone expansion to the award-winning Kingdom series. I don't know the award-winning Kingdom series. Shogun Showdown. I already like the gameplay, it looks really interesting. Turn-based combat with roguelike and deck-building elements. I'm super intrigued just by looking at it. We're going to install that demo. Sea of Stars. Oh, you know it, baby. We're going to install that demo. We're going to wishlist that bad boy. Yeah. Uh, the Last Alchemist. Mm, no, probably not. Homeseek. I doubt that as well. Primitive Society Simulator. I'm, I'm a little curious, but probably not. Roguelike deck building, let's go. Agreed. Gonna be lurky while I get packed. See ya, bats. Uh, let's see. Blaze Blue, Entropy Effect. Cool. No thank you, but cool. I always like to see an anime getting their, getting their turn. Or I guess it's not an anime, it's just a fighter game. But it's a fighter game that's been turned into a Metroidvania, so I'm here for it. Coreborn, Nations of the Ultra Core. <laughs> well, that just sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Coreborn? Coreborn of the Ultra Core? Come on, you guys. Sludge Life. Grimiest. Oh, it's the second one. I played the first one. Little Guardsman. Imagine you're a 12 year old suddenly in charge of the guard shed at the castle gate where you decide if elves, goblins, ooh, and a hundred other characters should be admitted. Ah, it sounds kind of like, um, 
Uh, oh gosh, what's the name of that game? We're your ticket agent. Slavic Punk, old timer. This game is an isometric shooter, already down. No thank you. Spells and Secrets. Roguelike inspired action adventure, not really into the art style already. Space Gears. Space Gears is next generation strategy. No thank you, my lovely universe. Stranded on a barren moon with nothing but your jewels, fuel a ship, and celestial powers of creation. Eh. Noun Town, language learning. I mean, I love nouns, I love towns, but I feel like that might be more for my daughter. Maybe not, maybe it's not a kid's game, maybe it's just a game that is for learning. Games can be educational, and they are. Revival Recolonization, Word Factory. Hang on, I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> I'm kind of on board. I wasn't on board, but now I'm kind of on board just looking at it, it looks very pleasing, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, as a palate cleanser, why not? Again, we're not gonna have time for like half of these games. I'm just installing a bunch so that we have plenty to choose from. Little friends, Puppy Island, oh thank you. Odinfall? I'm intrigued, but I think not. Lacera, Summit Kingdom. No. A lot of builders, huh? A lot of builders. Papers, please! Thank you. That was it. Distant Bloom, from a world in ruins to a world in bloom. No. Uh, reverse Collapse, Codename Bakery? Reverse Collapse, Codename Bakery is a tactical turn-based role-playing game developed by Mika Team. Set in the near future, Earth has plunged into a second Cold War. Okay. Well, it's very anime looking, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that one. Let's Revolution! Let's Revolution! Oh, excuse me. Let's! Revolution! Is a colorful roguelike puzzle mashup about stopping a narcissistic king from ruining your world. Flip the tiles to uncover the hidden path of the king. Um, it almost reminds me of Minesweeper. Another palette cleanser, maybe. Maybe. Looks super easy and light. Go fight Fantastic. Uh, Bird Planet is under attack. Team up. No thanks. Battle Shapers, name. Toxic Crusaders. Ooh, it's like a, it's like a TMNT. Cool. Love a beat em up. Cart Life is a story based life sim about three street vendors in a small town. I'm, ooh, I'm so on board for this. Yeah, we can't download a demo, but we are going to add that to wishlist because that, that looks real nice. Turn based tactical, probably not. Remore Infested Kingdom, probably not. Whoa. Wooden Weather. Mm mm. Little Kitty Big City. I mean, I'm on board. I'm on board with Little Kitty Big City. You're a curious little kitty with a big personality on an adventure to find your way back home. Explore the city, make new friends with stray animals, wear delightful hats, and leave more than a little chaos in your wake. After all, isn't that what? Who knows? Yeah, we're going to try that. Little kitty, big city. Gaucho in the grassland? No, thank you. Back to the dawn. Oh, yes. Absolutely. That looks so my genre there. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, space trash scavenger. New avoid hope. Void Hope takes you to an atmospheric puzzle platforming adventure to find a cure for a collapsed city. Follow the story of a tormented couple as they try to decipher. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, dude. Maybe. Maybe. We'll install it just because I can't. I can't tell. Surmount. No. Waven. Forge your own destiny. Choose your character. Equip your best spells and sail from island to island in a quest of fortune and glory. No. Burnish Master, no. Moving out to, no. In Stars and Time, ooh, yes, of course, of course. It looks up my, up my, up my steeds. Tracks of Thought, Story Rich, baby. Oh man, I just can't, I can't not download a Story Rich. Cross Blitz, a unique RPG deck builder. Hmm, I'm curious, but I feel like we already have our, our fair, our fair um, amount here. These Doomed Isles, harvest cards to raise land from the sea. No, thank you. Choo Choo Survivor. I don't think so. I'm curious about it. It looks silly. It looks like a silly old time, but I don't think so. Corpo Nation, the sorting process. Now this actually does look like um, Papers, Please. Greetings, valued employee. You have been tasked with sorting with Ringo Corpo Nation's genetic samples. With the credits that you earn, you can shop, game, and pay your bills on time. Rogue workers may try to entice you into betraying your... Yes! Let's do it! Oh, yeah! Vampire Hunters. To hunt vampires, you only guns. That's so many guns! That's so many guns! Why do you have so many guns? Oh, that's, that's simply too many guns. Look at how many guns he has. I almost want to play this one for the memes. I feel like we gotta install it for the memes. 
How can we not install that one for the memes? I have no interest in playing that game. But the memes! Look at how many guns! All right, let's school. Casual school building game. You're entrusted by your old headmaster with a glorious task of reviving your alma mater. I would not play this one on stream, but I would absolutely play this game. I'm gonna add it to wish list. Maybe just my own personal wish list. Cause, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unholy, it looks like a spooky spooky. Dice Folk. Man, all these games look so good. What a great next fest. I've seen so many games that I could could play. Could and would play. Spirit Swap, Lo-Fi Beats to match three to. Yes! I love a match three. Goodbye, Volcano High. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I didn't know there was a demo. Oh, I'm so excited. Ugly. Ducky's Delivery. Soul Bars. That looks rad. JRPG, dude. It looks like it's still in Japanese. Bulwark. Grand Strategy Stylized. Escape from Mistwood Mansion. <laughs> oh, no. How, do I, how are they all so good, you guys? I can't handle every single game looking amazing. Oh, Cattails? No way. Is this, so is this the same as the other Cattails or is this a new Cattails? Volcano High, I'm super excited as well. Alien Hominid, what? That's dope. Hmm. Don Duality, a tycoon game, very fun. Wild Mender. Folk Hero, Athenian Rhapsody. Wait, hang on. I've been keeping up with this game for a long time. Yes. I've followed this game in particular on TikTok for years now. Mall Craze, Stray Souls. Does look spooky. Robo Beat. Oh, cool. A rhythmic shoot 'em up. Neat. Uh, life not supported. I'm not in the mood for survival right now. I'm Hang out during the day, hunt urban legends at night, make new friends, and fight to the beat. A lot of rhythm games, huh? Curious. This Bed We Made, a mystery game in which you play as a maid in 19th century hotel. Oh, oh, that sounds so good! I'm gonna add that to my personal one. We probably won't play that on stream today, but... Look at all the games I have to download. <laughs> There's so many games to download! All right. Dungeon, full dive, gather your party and play your favorite tabletop RPGs. With DFD, you can bring your fantasy worlds to life? Stop. That looks amazing. Oh. Well, there you go. That's that's for you to know about, Cam. You might want to learn about that game. World's Worst Handyman. Embark on Hilarious? No. Growth. Oh, I love it all so much. Welcome back, by the way, Mayfly. Starship Simulator, Tank Squad, Videoverse. <laughs> you guys, all I want to do is play all of these visual novels. What am I going to do? What am I going to do with my life? All this... Ah, it, it just keeps going. It keeps going. How many games are there, dude? I can't read all of them. Rusty Lake? Oh, yes. Heck yes for another Rusty Lake game. Are you kidding me? Where's Perry? Uh, the game was... Where'd it go? Dungeon Full Dive? Dungeon Full Dive. It's a D&D-esque game where you create the worlds. So you get to be a DM and create like a, a, a first-person world. Dungeon Full Dive. Oh boy. All right. Cuisineer. Cuisineer. Super cute and tasty roguelike. The Creature Collector. Hellsweeper VR. Really? New Hellsweeper. Huh? Luna Abyss. Wargroove. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. We're going to at least install it. Whew. So many games. Yomi 2. Galactic Air. The Coffin of Andy and Laylee. Walk and talk adventure with light puzzling. Oh my, well that sounds pretty dark. I don't know if I'm on board with that one or not. Please, we must be close to the end by now. We must be. Oh, I 
I love it so much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through all these on my personal and just add a bunch to my wish list because there are so many good looking games here. There really is not anything like Next Fest, you guys. Trying to book it through these because we've already been doing this for 30 minutes. Not me thinking that said crap rotation. Not me. I wouldn't do that. Goobies! Ooh, no! <gasps> you know I love Inescapable. We're gonna add, well, no, I don't even add a wish list because we're getting a copy. By the way, in case you don't know, we're getting a copy of the game. Uh, we're getting the full game sent to us, which is pretty odd. We the people. The Isle Tide Hotel, a detective and absent father must rec rescue his teenage daughter from an eclectic cult. Oh, that looks so good. Is it a, oh, it's FMB. Oh, okay, I was about to say, it totally looks like an FMB. Oh, maybe. Wonderful, Blockbuster Inc., Saloon Simulator, Case Cracker 2, El Dorado. Lots of city builders this go around, huh? Waifu Warrior. <laughs> oh, no. No. The art looks super cool on that. No! Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine? That's hilarious. Valley Peaks. Heavy Cargo. To the Grave. Oh! I'm on board. I'm on board. Born of Bread. No Creeps Were Harmed. TD. Crime O'Clock. Oh, wait, that's that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to try that one because I remember seeing the demo and being like, what? Horror Stories, Beyond Sunset. Oh, Cyberpunk looks so good. Uh, Strangers, Skater Gator, New Heights, Sea of Survivors, Age of Reforging, Other World Survivors, Soul Stalker, Synth Beasts. A C RPG. I've never heard of such a thing. Hotel Architect. Xenophilia. Echoes of the Living. Catch and Cook. The Kingdom and Remedy. Whoa. I mean, it just keeps going, you guys. It just keeps going. How are there so many games? Dibrary. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what that word was. Oh no, not the Dibrary. Welcome to the Dibrary. Uh, void Bar. <laughs> that's such a lame pun. Oh, that's so lame. I love it. Acolyte of the Altar. Toys You a Knight. Hmm. Geomet Geometry. You guys, I promise. I I I do have a brain. Geometry. Geometry arena and <laughs> geometry. It is called the geometry. Abathor Atlantis Landing Sneak Out. Jawbreaker looks terrifying. Lil Nemo and the Nightmare Friend Fiends. Oh, Lil Nemo. Uh, Cozy Cabin Coffee Boutique. Myth Force. And they just keep going. Tavern Talk. Supreme Ruler, Riot Operator, Motor Doom, Survivors of the Dawn, Lucky Island, Space Prison, Forge Industry, Crossover, Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill, Slaps and Beans 2. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Rogue Command, Run Gore, Mr. Run and Jump, Leaf Floor Man, This Game Blows, Clan Wars, Burn the Shape of Fantasy. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that art. Oh, Jules Verne. Interesting. Medieval Machines Builder. Ebola Village. Okay. 
you say so. Axon TD, World Warfare, The Carters 2, Lama Clicker, Lahama. Why not? Limerick, Jelly Express, SCP The Expedition, Nowhere, Tactical Squad, Operation, Polygon Storm, Hoglands, Pool Cleaning Simulator. No, not Pool Cleaning Simulator. Oh, they just keep coming, huh? Survival Sisters 2048. 2048. Okay. Uh, One-Eyed Fico. Power Drill Massacre. Tenting Time. Animal Trainer Simulator. Why the animal looks so real? Uh, Captain Wayne. Cam really enjoys what? Which one? The Power Wash? Tales of Morrow, Strategic Mind, Ever After Falls. Oh, I just love all of the farming games. Legends of Amberland. Evolings. Survivor Mercs, Hidden Through Time. Dinky Guardians, Route 66 Simulator. Mm. Uh, Black Gunner Wukong, The Master's Pupil. Geometry. Stories from Seoul. Oh, that looks rad. Looper Tactics. Judero. The Black Pepper Crew. Cypher Zero. The Muller Powell, Powell Principle. Necro Golf. Death or Glory. Warnament. Engine Evolution. Bullet Bunny. Broken Lens. Hmm. I'm curious. Yeah, what the heck. Oh, the Dibrary. <laughs> that is exactly where you say that. Yeah, that pun was rough. How to Escape. In World Origins. The Legend of Capa Negra. Uh, Goons. Robotherapy. Final Night. Artifice. Cats Hidden Peace. Okay. Well, hey, I wonder... Oh, come on! Come on! Not right now! Not a soul's... <laughs> that's so dumb! Oh, that's so dumb! Oh my gosh, this world. This world we live in. What a, what a world. What a world! What a world! I had to scroll past that real fast. I have no idea what other games were up there because I'm not interested in scrolling back up. Oh my gosh. Ghost Pia? Yes, 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 yes. Aztecs, Escape from Lavender Island, Disco Simulator. <sighs> Epitapes, Tales from Candleforth, Manica. Oh man, Death Must Die, Girl Genius, Phoenix Springs. Ooh, I like it, I like it a lot. Fancy Pants. Oh, it's good to see you back, buddy. There's just so many. And they just keep going. How many games are there, you guys? Oh, my answer. So many games. 1,265. How many have we been through? All right, we gotta go, we gotta go considerably faster then. Can we, hang on. I'm so worried to change things up now. I wish we had, I wish, I wish I had um, siphoned a little bit to start with. Cause I would have siphoned everything that had sexual content and we would have been able to get all that out of the way. And I wouldn't have to worry about seeing Mona Lisa's feet on my screen. Ooh, ooh, I love the horror games. Another SCP game? A lot of SCP games just go down, huh? Oh, there's Penny Larceny! Well, look, I mean, let's go for it. Cats in Italy? Hey, now! 
Hey now, cats hidden in blank. You can't just have the whole gamut. You guys. There's too many games. There's too many games. I seriously underestimated the amount of games there were. What's that now? Jesus Christ is back for vengeance. Try to make it through God's obstacles to prove yourself so that you may smite all the heretics. 8K70. What is happening? Why is he in the back of a truck? What is happening? Oh, dear. Spirit well? I mean, there's so many. There's so many games and I love them all. Well, maybe not all. Look, I mean, I've downloaded 37 games, okay? So, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Maybe what we'll do though, maybe we'll just go till two o'clock. And then we'll come back and start playing some of them. It really is amazing just how many video games there are. Ah, oh, boy love. See, that's the thing, is there's a lot of these stories that are gonna bring in dating sim elements. <laughs> and I don't know if a, a, a boy love game is what we need here on, on Checkpoint Stream. Certainly nothing wrong with that genre of game. Unlike the one with Jesus being in revenge. What's up, McDoohoo? How we doing? Welcome in, my friend. How was your weekend? Happy Father's Day, belated Father's Day. We're going through all of the games from Steam Next Fest and downloading the best ones, or the ones we're most curious about anyway. Oh, that just means visual novel. They're not even in English anymore. See, that's my concern. I'm worried that we're... We really messed up by not siphoning things out at the beginning. And I really don't know if it's too late. I'm kind of on board. Seems a little heavy, but I'm here for heavy. Never fails that I come in and dating sims are mentioned. Look, look, okay? I can't help what I love. All right, McDoo. Can't help what I love. It's just inevitable that there's gonna be dating sims.
I wish there was like a number beside it to let me know what number game we were on because it feels like we just keep going forever and ever. We're gonna stop at two o'clock no matter what. Uh, McDoohoo, Steam Next Fest is a uh, event they do probably two or three or four times a year, somewhere in that number. Definitely more than once a year, um, where they just have all of the demo games you can imagine. Uh, a lot of indie games just release demos over the course of a week for people to play through, to get excited about the games for the future. So there are literally 1,265 Next Fest games. This Next Fest. Interesting. Whenever I started, I didn't realize that that number was there, and I wish I had, because I would have I would have made things a little bit smaller than they are. I would have taken out all the NSFW games. I would have taken out MOBA games. I would have taken out um, probably sports games. I could have filtered better. Rooftop story looks like it's in another language. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, I'm kind of on board. Love it. Now I'm going through them all. You got on to play Diablo. Oh no! Well, I would highly encourage you to use filters unlike my, my dumb self. Because I sure wish I would have. Because I've seen a bunch of games that I have no interest in knowing about. Wait. Did we do it? No! <laughs> Man, I thought we'd done it. I was so excited. Okay. It continues. Too many cooks. I mean, am I even looking at the games anymore? Like, I gotta be real. Am I even looking at the games anymore? Or am I just kind of scrolling? I'm worried I might just be scrolling at this point. What? Heard great things about Viewfinder. We've downloaded it. We're absolutely playing Viewfinder. Yeah, there have been a few that have stood out above the rest as like, oh, these are like big deal games, you know? Like these are contender games. When was the last time I've even downloaded a game, you guys? I feel like it's been a while. It's been several scrolls at this point. Totally accurate dating simulator, hang on! Are they just the little red and blue people? Oh, I wanna know more. Ah, I wanna know more. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna have to look that one up and make sure it's not NSFW, but as long as it's not, I, I wanna know more.
And full credit where credit is due. This uh, this was brought to my attention by Jate of Jate Live. Another thing that Jate has done that has ruined my life with an hour of my time now. Don't tell Jade that I'm just stealing his good ideas. Y'all, we've got to be close. I've surely looked at a thousand games at this point. Surely! Right? Surely. There's no way I've not looked at a thousand games by now. We've got to be getting close to the end. Oh, it's Toem. T-O-E-M is a game that I've heard of before. Well, he's a spooky little fella, isn't he? He's, he's a creepy little guy. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's pretty funny. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a marble dating sim? Stop it. Why? Why are the marbles dating, dude? <laughs> what are we living with all these demos at our fingertips? Nate, are you old enough to remember the demo discs that came with game magazines? I am. I am. I still have some of the demo discs that came with games. Like, I remember there were there were some excellent demo discs out there, such as one that had, like, Zelda on it. One of the, one of the GameCube, like, the, the revisioning of the N64 games on GameCube of Zelda came with Twilight Princess, I feel like. Still have some. Yeah, they're somewhere out there. Gosh, there was one that I played a lot. It was one that had several demos on it. But I don't remember what any of them were at this point. But it is incredible, isn't it? Just to have access to this many, this many demos. Kids today, they have no idea what it means to be a gamer from the 90s. What with their 1,200 games just on a random June. All right, I'm not going past two o'clock. I'm not going past two o'clock. So we're, we're, we're towards the end of our scroll. If we miss some, we miss some. And that's just Twin Beaks. Ah, oh my gosh, Twin Beaks. Oh, wish list. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me with Twin Beaks? Cam, you gotta like that one. You gotta like that pun, Cam. You gotta give me that one. Twin Beaks is the greatest thing I've ever heard. It warms my dad heart. I wish Michael Fantomino were here. What? Don't, don't dot dot dot. Twin Beaks is so good. Dude. Defeat everyone, I wonder what you do in that game. What do you think? Oh, walk and stroll. Oh man. I mean, we're getting, we're getting to the, we're getting to the uh, 2055. 
Homie, what do you mean? Greg! Greg! Cinco! Cinco Minutos. Oh, what's up, Christina? How we doing? It's fine. It's so good, Cam. Christina, rate the pun of Twin Beaks instead of Twin Peaks. And it's a bird-themed detective mystery called Twin Beaks instead of Twin Peaks. That's a good pun, right? That's a 10 out of 10 pun. You got to give that one a 10 out of 10. You quite like it, right? It's so good. Oh man, I just can't believe we're still going through games. I simply cannot believe it. And they just keep going. How are we not at the end of the list? Be the best. See, that's a bad pun. That's a bad pun. Twin Beaks, good pun. Pun score 11 out of 10. <laughs> Sneaky agrees. What's up, dude? This gaming year is going to be so hard for me, Diablo 4 right now, Baldur's Gate 3 in August, Starfield in September. I'm super hyped for Starfield. I've never played any of the Baldur's Peak games. Baldur's Peak. What did I call it? Why did I call it Baldur's Peak? Baldur's Gate. <laughs> the end! The end! We did it! We did it, folks! We reached the end! We've looked at 1,265 games together! Woo! Wow! Wowzers, dude. <laughs> we did it. Yes. Oh, man. Just in time. Three minutes to spare, which is conveniently exactly how much time it takes us to uh, to take our break. So all's well. Oopsie. That's not what I'm supposed to show you. Well, enjoy my, uh, enjoy my Google Drive there. Yeesh. Whew. I mean, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me at this point, okay? I worked hard for this. We got so many demos. We have so many demos to play. I want to find all of them. Um. None of those. Oh, you're kidding me. Stop it. I really hope the demos all come up like this. Okay, good. That worked. All right. We're going to take a quick break, as we always do. Once an hour, we try to take a break to rest our eyes, rest our minds, rest I our bodies. Just be done. We want to take good care of uh, ourselves as streamers and as a chat to uh, rest every now and again. Did my camera move down just a little bit? It definitely did, didn't it? I got like a little black bar like right there. You guys can probably see it's very small. But I definitely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We're gonna take a quick uh, three minute break. We'll be back in three minutes. Rest your eyes, grab a snack, sit down, stand up, whatever you gotta do. Uh, we'll be back in three minutes. See you soon. Still, still waiting. Weesh tip. So there you go. The the the, the tips are auto loading. Be weesh tip. But for some reason the alerts are not cents. popping up. Pog 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 you. Why is it so awful? How do I follow the race? How do I follow the race? Oh no! What's happening? I can't follow the race. <laughs> oh whoa. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Mom, I'm the greatest gamer. Mother. Mother, did you hear? 
Did you hear that I'm the greatest gamer? It's true. I don't remember anything else about Squirtle. He's doing a T-pose, though. <laughs> I accidentally drew him in T-pose, dude. <laughs> All right, T-pose Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. This is Squirtle, man. That's 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 a cursed Squirtle as well. We're just getting all the cursed things out of the way first, dude. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Christine! <laughs> Woo! We have a good time, don't we? Ooh, don't we have a good time? Brrr. Full screen, I'll do it. <laughs> we don't talk about checkpoint. No, no, no. What happens when you're gonna redeem a gotcha bot from now on? Like Scoob, I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha bot. I'm a little scared. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear Shaggy? Did you hear my buddy? <laughs> By Nor Unahar. So that's pretty hype. Uh -oh, Good evening, uh -oh, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. Now I can't hear it again. This is your captain speaking. Why? Hello. Why is this come? thing on? Testing. Oh, one, I'll go to the other one. Two. I'll go to the other two, one. Two. Two. Every hundred dollars, you'll get to hear you, a page from my book that I wrote when I was ten years old. You, it's super cringe and embarrassing. Uh, Every five hundred dollars, uh, we're gonna do a quiz you, uh, that have been uh, sent to us. Your mask. Your mask and cough. 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 How do you say that? Cough. 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 Cophagris, Cophagrigus. What? Okay, your mask is fine. Your mask gets a C. This guy. Welcome can't back. Welcome his back. Name. F. Just. All right. So we have 28 games installed from Next Best, and I feel like we did pretty good. I feel like we probably could have gotten even more but I'm proud of us for only downloading 28 games. So if I'm, let's do some math real quick, okay? We've got two hours today, three hours tomorrow, and probably two hours on Thursday. So that is seven hours. If we did a half hour for each game, we would, we would hit 14 games. That's only half of the games. So technically speaking, <laughs> We actually need to play each game for 15 minutes. There's no way I'm doing that. Um, maybe we'll do a bonus stream. Time will tell how the week goes. But I think 30 minutes feels like a fair enough demo. What do you guys think? How do we feel about 15 minutes for a demo? I mean, excuse me, 30 minutes for a demo. How do we feel about a 30 minute demo? And obviously if there's a game that we're like not feeling, we can cut it before the 30 minute mark. Cause there are some goofy games in there that I wouldn't mind not playing for that long. Um, how do we feel? How do we feel? How do we feel about 30 minute demo? I'm feeling pretty good about it, personally. Try to give at least 30 minutes when I do Game Pass or play. 30 minutes is a good starting point. I think so. And obviously, if any of these games you really like and you want to play more of, I encourage you to go download them for Steam Next Fest and encourage this awesome thing that Steam does. So let's, what do you think, RNG? Should we RNG? I think we should probably just RNG, yeah. Now there are a couple games that we won't be able to RNG because they aren't downloaded yet, but I tell it's RNG. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and 28. 28 is how many we wound up uh, downloading you do. 13, all right, six, 12, 13, Lil Guardsman. Lil Guardsman is our first one on the on the chopping block. So, let's get right on into Lil Guardsman. Only 28. I had to be very, very tough on this, okay? 
It was not easy to only pick the, the ones that I did. All right, first up is Little Guardsman. Believe me, believe me, I wanted to pick so many more than this. And I have a lot that I'll probably play on my own time. All right, Little Guardsman demo. This is Little Guardsman. I don't, I don't honestly know much about this game at all, but if we like it, then good. Law Guardsman. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. I did not. <laughs> a small child unwillingly thrust But it did remind me of Nintendogs, and I definitely One thought about it. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh I like that they have a God, voice actor. You've made the wrong choice. No! You didn't think things through. I didn't even give me a you choice! Doomed us all. No! Break things on fire now! Not fire! Fire! No fire! fire! Could you have done this to us? Ah! The fire! Well, I guess everything went wrong. I like the art already. Like, I like the little Will. clicker. Oh! Will! I like the voice acting. What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Uh-oh. Out of one nightmare and into another. Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. <laughs> I love the boy band posters. <laughs> Dad, you don't have to do this. Oh. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. <laughs> Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I... I want to throw rocks at things. Oh, mood. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? <laughs> but I'm the proud. art is great! Get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Okay. I had a duty. I'm so, honestly, this game doesn't feel above that joke. Oh. Okie dokie. Wow, this is Ready in game, very huh? Quickly show you how everything works? Is it four players? Oh, is it co-op? Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. <laughs> I'm gonna bet they're not. Oh, oh good morning, Mrs. Good. Abernathy. Just old lady. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if <laughs> Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Seamus. Seamus! <laughs> what is? Never mind. Oh, no. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? I love that it's just like a cooler. Oh, I got a cinnamon bun. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. 
I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you. <laughs> oh, this no, is good writing. Oh, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is really gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters. We gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. <laughs> Seamus, tell the girl what Seamus! I love Seamus. The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. <laughs> Click on any highlighted element to learn about it. All right. Let's see. Okay, I see. We've got a, we've got this bulletin board. We got the bag. We got the options. We got the phone. We got Miss Abernathy. I'm gonna look at Miss Abernathy first. I already told you. Clicking on the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find. Sometimes. Sometimes using a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know. You can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. Well, I was gonna. Didn't we cover this? Oh, I guess we're tutorial. That's your inventory. We're tutorializing. Bag where you keep the things people give you, or that you confiscate from them. In other words, looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone ah. in. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally. Wait, there's more. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help. But all they'll really give you is their opinion. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello, is somebody there? I love the art. And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm. Chaos personified in human form. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. Each call costs an action point. Our tools. The tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way, I have a well-rounded arsenal. Why did the other tools already have crystals in them? I carried them over from previous days. Any other questions? Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? No more questions. <laughs> so what do they do? Okay. Metal detector, decoder ring, truth spray, x-ray, bullwhip. Oh, do I need to click on each one to you learn what it does? You can use this decoder ring to... Not exactly sure how it works. It's a metal detector. Truth spray. You spr this x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low grade. Why not use it on trolls? <laughs> no humming. Love it. Uh, last one. The Royal Writ. The first thing you can do when you start your shift is take a look. Okay. Big Butt Bobby, I absolutely did not. <laughs> if the Castle Guard... Uh, core can achieve a good star rating this month. There will be a pizza party at the barracks. Strict one slice limit per guardsman from the desk of Councilman Ash. There will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by the members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Oh. Interesting. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years of his post. After a six-month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern for the Elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs! <gasps> what?! Okay, well, we've obviously, we might have, she might have drugs. <laughs> Depressed Joker is the expression of a funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Okay. Um, so I'm going to need the x-ray. Oh, I need to say you I'm done the first. Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn, but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points. Sometimes? Yeah, and sometimes people are in a really big hurry. What's the third lever? Wait, hang on, I haven't done the things yet. How do I get out? No, how do I get away? No, how do I get away? 
I'm worried she might be the granny. What if she's the granny? I guess we'll admit, I don't know. I, I thought it would surely let me do options. Guess not. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. What if she's the one? What if she's the drug mule? Delivery. I'm off to watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. <laughs> Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we? She Let does me? know his name. My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not <laughs> Nice. Oh, I better go. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Believe me, he does. Do people want more pay or benefits? Okay, Just give well, me pizza. You got this. All right, the royal writ. Yeah, same. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Will you require anything further? Uh, I believe I'll need to call and tell them. Yeah. you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. Boom jams. The greatest. Oh. Oh, I just, I just let him through. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Hmm, I could have done something better, huh? Interesting. Hello! Good I'm not allowed to use the x-ray on I you. am here to pick up my two kids from the no-good, stingy, low-life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low-life of an ex-husband, Orlando. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible <laughs> letter my kids sent me. It sure is. Believe me, I would love to have him so get I guess I should use the decoder ring? bring them to me for once. Okay, let's use the decoder ring. It works 100% of the time. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is night more. Does that make sense to you? Oh my god! My boys don't know how to spell! <laughs> but also, that thing about Kelly being the worst! Cute. Um. So that's <laughs> Kelly isn't as fun as she's made out to be! <laughs> if anything, on. she's making my kids miserable! I've never been so happy in my life! Oh my god! I need to get my kids right now! I guess I'll trust. What's your game plan? First, I'll make sure my boys are safe. Yeah, the bleeping does make it always funny. Next, I'll s <laughs> Oh no! So hard that it'll f up Orlando's. <laughs> oh 
gosh. <laughs> to the kid! We're a child! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else we need to do. So there's nothing about... Yeah, I mean, I think we're good. Go on through. Surely they're gonna give me one to not admit, right? Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Good luck. Hey, nice. Good use of the Dakota Ring Guardsman. You didn't judge a book by its cover, and you knew not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Of course. All right. Who's next? Oh. What in the bloody blazing blasted hell is the hold Is that Why have we Donald Duck? Milk? Well, sir, the guard. Silence! Oh. Speak when spoken to, or you'll get you the way he was spoken when... to. Look at my face! <laughs> yes, sir. That's such good now art. You, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. What's his name, B.S.? B.S.? Bank of the Sprawl. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Is that a silly name? Does that count as a silly name? The louder you are, the more important you are. That's why I'm so powerful. Let my loud, bossy, jackass friend through. Okay, so that wasn't up. Um. <laughs> Looks like Bouillon. That's a lot of cheddar. No, ma'am. It is gold. <laughs> Silence! Yes, it is gold, but it is legitimate. Certainly not blood gold, if that's what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't. Okay, so hang on. Now I want to go back in time. In order. Let's... Now, since you are... Let's rewind time. And what I want to do is do the truth spray and then x-ray. Truth spray, x-ray. Because maybe we'll get to get some gold. Watching the See you, Cam. Well, sir. Now. Well, that. All right, truth spray. Precisely 6.15 tonight, <laughs> the bank of the sprawl has closed for the day. Oh, I'm no. I'm met by the head teller, Mr. Dung, who will be escorting me to my safe. Once inside, I have a rather sizable deposit of gold. I love the music. Carried by my darling servant. Darling? I couldn't do any of this without him. <laughs> but I will never let my secret love show for the sake of my position. What oh, he earth? snaps out of it. Oh, mess! What? what? Um. So I guess that plan doesn't work then. All right. I guess we just approve. I thought they would have me deny at least one, you know? It's about bloody time. Get moving, whelp. What? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. My action Silence. will have consequences. Nobody was talking to you. All due respect, sir, but you were talking to me. 
Gotta take a break from the demo, it's overwhelming. It is quite overwhelming. It took me an actual hour. I did see it! I guess it doesn't- it doesn't have memory. Hmm. Okay. Lil, you gotta close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. You look real happy for the way you're talking. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, what? right? No! Well, she's disappeared. Nobody saw anything or knows where she went. And any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? <laughs> I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. <laughs> do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. That's pretty good. 30 gold! Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate. Step forward into the light. Yeah, of course. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Lil, you have been chosen. Or? To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. <laughs> what? That's right. It's time for... A dating show? So you think you can save a princess. <laughs> oh, no. What the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, that's right, Lil. Today, you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo Warkiller! Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flameham! And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. <laughs> Let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen. I don't, I still don't fully understand what's happening. <laughs> and no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. It's obviously the three that I called. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Stryker, Councilwoman okay. Ash, I thought it was going to leave them mysteries. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is... Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite! Now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine... At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess. A coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, <laughs> home of the soup. The soup! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> mm, Dad does the love soup. Monty's. Let's do this. Ooh. Okay. I didn't realize. Okay, we're going past our two, our thirty-minute timer. All right, Lil. What would you? I like think to technically we're supposed to stop here. So if you want to find out what the dating scene is, uh, you'll have to you'll have to find out for yourself, because we're gonna wrap it up at this thirty-minute mark. But well, we did start a little bit late. We could always go just another minute or two. Um, origin stories. Where do you come from? And who would you? We'll like hear to one ask? question. Oh. Um, the flame hands. My origins are rather humble. My father was a chamberlain in the court of the Dread King Vlad Invictus of Caladar, and my mother owned an exotic pet shop in the Duchy of Scarborough. They had 50 50 custody, but I was disowned <laughs> by both as my magical powers no, became apparent. No. 
Disowned. You can ask another one. Next round. All right. If you want to find out more of the mystery and your second question, then you'll have to play it for yourself. We might continue on another day, but we've got to, we've got to move along because we've got a lot of games to get through. There's 30 minutes of, um, oh, what was the name of this game? Lil Guardsman, Ooh, to be continued. Lil Guardsman, the epic adventure coming soon, 2023. Hilarious writing, excellent art. Uh, I I'm calling our first one a big old thumbs up. Big old thumbs up. Love it, here for it, think it's great. Now we're gonna get into our next game. So, next game is uh, out of 28. Uh, let's let RNG do its thing. Okay, Google, pick a number between 1 and 28. The answer. No shot. 13 again. Pick again. One, number one, Broken Lens. Broken Lens is our next game. Thirty minute timer for Broken Lens. Wait, it didn't update. Should be popping up soon. Come on, man. Why would it have worked last time? There we go. All right, Broken Lens. 30 minute timer starts now. I don't really know where to click. What am I clicking on? This? This? What am I supposed to click on? Okay, that. All right, kind of a funky UI. Inexplicable UI. Whoa. Oh, rad. Okay. I do not have the girl. Oh. Why are they not explaining <laughs> what to do? Uh, left click. Lots of instructions that I have to find, I guess. Am I like looking for differences? There's one. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just to spot the differences. This is kind of hard with my camera right there, but... It's really zen, huh? Oh, I found another. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess. Is that a hint? What is that, you think? Dos mas. What?
Oh, I see it. Is that what you're- is that what it is? One more. I don't see the last one. My eyes. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm going to turn off my camera for one second so that I can see the whole thing. Let's see if this helps. the details the ambient music is real nice isn't it I'm looking in the background too I'm looking like over here whoopsie whoopsie oh no where's the mouse oh no Maybe are there more controls? Oh, wait, does it give me a hint? I see it. I did it! What do you think that is? Ah, okay. All right, I can bring back the camera. And it's another one. Okay, we might not play this game for the whole half hour then. If this is just what it is, I get it. I like it. I'm here for it. But I don't know if we need the full half hour experience of it. Unless you guys are just really enjoying the Zen. Weren't you just playing Unite? No, Tricky Time Tree, not today. We are playing Steam Next Fest games. The whole week. Steam Next Fest Takeover. Man, I'm not noticing a lot, huh? Oh, that's a different shape. Oh, it changed it up on me, huh? Now things are going to be different shapes. Pizza. It shouldn't have. No, we haven't played Unite today. Wait, his face is in a different position. I'm still missing a bunch.
Mask is going off again. Boink. It's too hard to see. <gasps> Piece of paper. Oh. Is it trying to tell me a story? I don't know if that's the way to do it. Oh, his little hand. Trace Moss. Looking for something hiding back here. Ah. Ah. That's a big one. One more. Let me know if you see it, folks. I fully allow back seating right now. I could always take my hint. That's what I did last time. this thing yeah actually I'm pretty into this game <laughs> this is actually pretty pretty relaxing I'm kind of enjoying myself I don't know let's see I wonder how many levels the demo has huh let's turn back on Boink. turn back on that and then go back into the game back to home I could actually, I could find myself really enjoying that game on a phone. I think that would be a really ple pleasant phone game. So there's all this stuff on the side. I don't know what that means. There's like a tower that we're filling. I'm guessing there's more levels as we go along. Oopsie. More levels as we go along. The book continues to expand. The UI is a little funky. Team that worked on it. It's super cute. Even if the UI is a little funny. I, I bet that's where they lock the demo, huh? You probably complete all 10 of these and they lock it. So if you're down to learn more about this game, you should. There's like the rule book. Oh, look at that hint. That looks like a fun little hint, doesn't it? Still don't know exactly what that's all about. Or what that guy's saying. Or why we have three lines. I'm sure there's some environmental storytelling here that I'm just missing. But I like it. I like it. Fun game. I think as as for our two games we played so far, I think I like uh, Lil, Lil Guardsman more than Broken Lens. But I like Broken Lens and I think I would definitely be down to um, down to play more of that game as a like practice of... Uh, just a, just a peaceful morning practice. Like, it'd be a nice, fun morning game. Okay, Google. Pick a number between 1 and 28. Not 1, not 13. 18. All right, 6, 12, 18. Yes! Oh, man, this is going to be so hard to only play 30 minutes of this game. 
Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars is an upcoming RPG. How are we going to play 30 minutes of this game? I cannot imagine. All right, it's starting to launch. It's got to do all the install stuff. Maybe. Still says launching. What did you guys think? Of the two games, what would you rate? Well, which one would you rate higher so far? Low Guardsman or Broken? Let's actually make it a poll. Let's make it a poll while this is launching. Glee, welcome in, says Broken Lens. I like Broken Lens a lot. I think I like the um, the, the aesthetic of Broken Lens. I don't know. I really like the aesthetic. I like both of them a whole lot. Those have been two excellent games so far. Let us know in the poll what you think. I'm going to try and relaunch this. I'm wondering if we got stuck somewhere. Sea of Stars is not opening. Whoops, I think it was just about to. Hands off. Hands off, we gotta wait for a poll anyway. Don't touch it. Ooh, but I want to. Oh, there it goes. See, that's why we don't. That's why we don't touch it. All right, Sea of Stars. I've been wanting to play this game for so long. It's gonna be real hard to stop at 30 minutes. Look at our results of our poll. No votes. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. <laughs> okay. Now, Traveler, let your adventure begin. Hold. Okay, we're going key based, Tom. Huh? Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, probably going to need that. Uh, WASD. Uh, snap on WASD. Okay. How do I get back? I can't figure out how to get to the next thing now. Uh-oh. This is a bad sign. All it'll let me do is go down. Let's hit all the buttons. Buttons, buttons. Who's got the buttons? Of course, this is the one I was most excited about, too, and I can't figure out how to work the dang thing. No clue how to get back. Get all the numbers. Tab. Enter, shift, alt, command, windows key, <laughs> function keys. I'll hit anything. Good start. Okay. Great start. We start again.
another one. Good news is, is now I at least know it's WASD, so hopefully I can, um... Figure out some way around the system. Turn-based, your skills can be enhanced by pressing- Oh, okay, nice. So we're going with uh, Super Mario RPG style. It's a lot of controls here. They really got to put in a back button, dude. They really got to put in a back button. We're going to close out again. Open again. <laughs> I don't know why I can't figure out how to get out of the game. I don't know if that's just my dumb self or what. Next one. Well, I'm glad we have the extra time to go through the tutorial, so now we have 30 minutes of, like, actual gameplay. Alright, I think this is the last one, at least. Yeah, just survival now. Save points represented by a big tome on a pedestal. Campsites always have a save point. Mostly located in villages, merchants sell equipment, cooking ingredients. Camping is a free action, lets you cook items, rest to fully heal. You can cook, carry limit of 10 by interacting. Press at the edge of a dock. You need to heal outside of combat, there are no campsites. You can access magic skills through the area. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Okay, onward and upward, close out of this one, open up it again, and then we'll actually be able to start the game this time. Hopefully the last time we have to stop the game. Hopefully every menu is not broken. It do look so pretty though. It is a gorgeous game. Could just be my doofy brain. Okay. New game. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. Uh, a blade dancer. A monk. Monk feels appropriate. Let's go with the lair. Plus, I like blue. Blue is a nice color. Okay. Whoa! That dragon looks so cool! This game is so gorgeous, though. Whoa! Whoa! No way! That was awesome! Yeah, what a ride. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. So, the eclipse will happen soon, but we're no closer to Wraith Island. I doubt we'll find a ship at this altitude. To ground level, then? Only one way to go from here, anyway. Nice! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? It was gonna do it was gonna do it anyway. Scavenger. 
scavenging. Oh, I think we're fighting. Okay. Okay, uh... Just attack. <laughs> How do I pick up the things? L or something? Oh, I think I did it! Nice! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Man, the timing is rough. Uh oh. Nice. Got some gold. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Home of saving or whatever. No, it's just just a okay. I mean, this pixel art is unbelievable. Oh. Mm. Who is that? Is that a fourth party member? A few adventures later, our heroes make it to ground level. In the port town of Brisk, a pirate crew promises to get them to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse on one condition. Okay, so they skipped us around a little bit. It's not like you have other options. Still, making a deal with pirates? They seem nice enough to me. All right, here goes nothing. This reminds me of like Xenoblade. Feels like a, a 2D Sin Xenoblade. Okay, the Dread Pirate Roberts. Well, look who it is. The deal stands. If you can't beat Veil Trade and Arm Wrestling, we get an item that needs fetching. After which, a Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith Island. What do you say? I don't know what I just said to you. We accept. Everybody, arm wrestling battle! Woohoo! Minigame? Beautiful. Valtrade, you're up. Okay, so the person with the pirate hook is most definitely the person that just teleported through a green portal more earlier, right? I'll do it. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. Plus, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Valir. I'll be your challenger. Right? Yeah, totally. Yep, yep. 100%. That's right. Captain? Go all out. We can't leave without it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Captain. Right, tough one. Uh, you look like... You look like... Oh, a tough one you look like. Ready? One. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, no! What? That's great! Oof. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, did we miss the bar where we agreed on a no magic shirt rule? Sorry, pal. Captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! 
This will be my first. This will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. <laughs> so stupid. You're lucky we didn't ask about specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. <laughs> Veltre truly is good at everything. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little Aaron? Captain? North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I'll use it for... I'll use it to redact it for spoilers. <laughs> oh! Huzzah! Fine. How do we get in? Fear is what kept people away all this time, but you look like you can handle yourselves in battle. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. Can Ethan? A bit of magic should do the trick. I shall open the way to the abandoned wizard lab. My name is not Kenethan. Ahoy, Captain, ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch the coin of Undeath Accord, then meet me at the docks. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Okay, I really hope that they uh, really explain to me where I'm going, because I have no clue where I'm supposed to be headed. Wow! It looks so pretty! Look at all these characters. All this sprite work. You can swim! In a pixel art game! I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, though. I want to say they said north. Probably shouldn't do any of this. How do I get back? No, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. Dude, there's gotta be a way to get back. Pressing every button. No. None of the buttons are for back! Why? None of them! None of them do back! Why? It doesn't have to be this way. I don't know what to do! I guess I'm stuck. Try and Google it. Maybe I'm just a dummy. No. 
Nope. I'm not on a controller, that's the issue. Maybe it has controller support. Most of these demos, I would assume, do not. Yeah. No controller support. I've hit, I've hit every single key on the keyboard. It's W-A-S-D- wait. Oh. Wow. No, escape key will not go back, but controller does work, so we're good. Ooh, good thing it's sneaky. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. It's gotta be something on the keyboard. But none of the keys work. See, I also would have thought escape key. Yeah, I could play this game for days. Weeks, even. The rest of my life, maybe. Oh, it's even got the adventure map. Oh, man, this game is gorgeous. Sea of Stars. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna go fishing. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I didn't understand the rules. Jellyfish! A man of war. Filet him. Turned that I turned that jellyfish into scramp. much time. I don't understand the rules. All right, whatever. It's fine. We caught one thing. We need to continue with the story for the 20 minutes we have left. I think it's this. The undead, undead coin or something. No, that doesn't sound right either, does it? Wait, it is. Okay, cool. Come on, Kenethan. You said you can do it. I have found the door, but it seems I will only be able to lift it a few inches. Foul trade. On your mark, pal. Commence! <laughs> Yolanda, hurry! No sweat, big guy. Demolition's my middle name. What a goofy pirate crew. Yeah, I've been excited about this game for a long time. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get, you old ruin. That's one way to do it. A job well done, mateys. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. I will remain with Velaire's crew for now. These ruins are fascinating to me. Sure. Can't hurt to have a mage around. 
Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion, or my name is not Kenethan. Have it your way, then. Coming, Veltrade. Aye, right, good luck in there. My, what an improbable device. And look at this device. Or an improbable place. Look at this device. I wonder what it does. Let's find out. There's a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? point nice she tells ghost stories right want me to read you a story I only have one so far but it's kind of spooky let's hear it of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment few are as dreadful as the curse of the vespertine this story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she was ready to quit the pirate life. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, the both of them sulking, while their crew begged for some resolution. First they ran out of patience then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutiny, and made their captain walk the plank. As he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew by conjuring an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place, until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day, for but a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fish fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary coast ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Cool. They have little stories. I wonder if that's like a side quest that you can actually then like engage with, you know? Fascinated. Oh, I just love RPGs. I could absolutely play the heck out of this game. Looks like it should emit light, but it's inactive. Ah!
No! <laughs> what are the odds? Try this again. Nice. Cool. Nice. Close. Oh, I forgot I can take their hits. Nice. And I love that it just is in an active battle zone that remains when you're done. So good! Uh oh. Secret secrets. A blue crystal this time. Rad. <laughs> Cookie jar. <laughs> okay. Sure. sort of understand. Should have healed. Oh, I have so many snacks. Total guess, but it worked. Run! Yeah, if you're a fan of like Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger, this is probably a must play. Probably a must play situation. I guess I gotta fight him. 
I was really gonna try not to, but. Ah, oh, that's so dope! What good design. Forgetting that I can, I can heal. We're not heal. React. Nice. I was hoping I would kill him. Yikes. Okay, I had to beat him anyway, huh? Right, well, let's definitely feed everybody. place to start. Then we combine them. Wow. It's a puzzle. I love puzzles. Maybe even cook.
I mean, I could log so many hours in this game. Not even funny. Well, that seems like a silly thing to have done then. There's another one over there? I missed that one. I can choose who goes next. Sea of Stars. It should be down there in the category. So close. Oh, cool. What? Oh, that's so good. Oh, man, I love this game. Oh, no. Dude, <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? This is so interesting. Oh, I want this game to come out. When does Sea of Stars come out? Does anybody know? Do you think we'll get other characters? I think so. So far, the, the person who like looked at us from far off and... Uh... Wait, hang on. Let's see. Can we clip that? The person who looked at us from far off or whatever. I think they've got to be an eventual new character. Maybe I'm wrong, though. No, let's go fight this battle. August 29th. Ah, cannot, cannot get here soon enough. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I love that so much. That is my favorite little minigame. I don't want to stop playing! We have one more minute. <sighs> we're gonna make it to the next save point, and then we're gonna have to go to another game. Curse you! Saw my games fast! Yeah, I, I, I bet we'll get other characters. The real question really is how many. But it's, it's, it's got mini games just like Chrono Cross. It reminds me so much of Chrono Cross. Here we go. Feels so good. All right, I think we have another one and then we'll be able to save. Okay, lots of lots of moonerangs. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby! <laughs> I got into the flow, that guy. Meow! Feels good, man! <laughs> yeah, I just love this game. I just love this game. I've loved it ever since I first saw a trailer for it, dude. And playing it just feels exactly as good as I thought it would. All right, unfortunately, we're back to the save point, but I would be crazy down to play more of this demo next week, but it's not around. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We just, we just gotta eat it. We just gotta eat it because we gotta play another game. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and 28. Next one. Oh, I don't want to stop playing that game. I did not want to stop playing. <sighs> Sixteen. All right, let's see. Six, 12, 18, 16. Penny Larceny. Penny Larceny, gig economy, super villain. She looks a little scantily clad. I might have to make sure. Just make 150,000% sure that this game is kosher. Obscene language, discussions of sexuality, romance, triggering subjects such as violence and self-harm. There is no nudity. Okay, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Uh, so, obvious warning, this game may have some darker themes to it, as is always our rule here at Checkpoint. I will not be profane. I will be family-friendly, but the game may or may not be. Okay? Time will tell. And it looks like it is windowed for whatever reason. So let me go pull up our windowed capture. Okay. Fiction Factory Games. A wicked worker walks wayward with wealthy wages. Love the music already. Hey, hey, good to see you. I mean, I can't exactly see you, but I know you're there, and that's enough. Feels good having some company. Tonight's gonna be stressful. This is a make or break moment for us. But before we dive into the deep end, we're gonna do some paperwork first. I know, I know, busy work sucks, but it's important stuff. Jane Doe, she, her, skin tone, swearing? <laughs> sure, we'll do censored, why not? Oh, I like silly. Uh, romance, sexuality. Okay, sure. Turn that off. My alias is going to be Jane Doe. Pronouns she, her. I love romance, but no sex, please. All that sound good? Sounds good. With that out of the way, I turn in my paperwork in exchange for a uh, Hello My Name Is sticker. Now I'm ready to mingle. Ready to get some shirt done. <laughs> okay. It's a gathering of criminal masterminds, all looking to hire fresh new underlings. Exactly the ticket we need in the big time. Soon, everyone will know the name of... Penny Larceny. Little Miss Steal Your Stuff. <laughs> I sneak in under cover of darkness, tear down every defense between me and my target, and get away clean. Everyone knows and fears Penny Larceny, the hottest young supervillain of this generation. Look out, world. I'm coming for your stuff. Your precious, precious stuff. Already knew all that. We've been partners for years. No introductions needed. Hottest young supervillain. Penny, we're still small time. Complete unknowns. Yeah, good place swearing. I'm a bit fuzzy as to what I'm supposed to do here. Should I just sit back and watch? Oh, heck no. I value your input. You and I, we're a team. Always have been, always will be. I mean, okay, not always. More like for the last 10 years. And we didn't exactly meet under great circumstances. But hey, team. And that teamwork is key to surviving in this day and age. The New Daily Times. It's tough making it in this world of masks and capes, villains and heroes, and I live pretty firmly outside society's rules, a mask since I was born. Some become masks by choice, eager for power and conquest, but many are forced into it out of desperation and poverty. It's a crap sack world out there, full of haves and have-nots. Stay in society's good graces, obey and conform more, 
be pushed out. That's why masks have loosely banded together to support each other. Clearly, no one else gives a shirt about us. It really, they really are. They're leaning into the good place. Your plans, your schemes, our resources, Crimer. One of the support structures for the mask community is Crimer, a combination social media network and gig economy market for super villains. On Crimer, I can work with the best of the best, elite masks who run with huge crews and multi-million dollar operations. I've, I've secured an invite to this Crimer event where potential hench people can hook up with various underworld bosses. Tonight, you and I are putting Penny Larceny on the map. At least they're doing this somewhere familiar. Destructo's Bar and Grill. I've been here plenty of times. Sometimes you want to go where everybody loathes your name. <laughs> they're always magic games. Fortunately, before I have to start figuring out an end for mingling socially, someone speaks up and the crowd hushes. Friends, your attention please. Thank you all so much for coming to our little party. We hope you all make valuable contacts today. I'll be directing this event on behalf of Crimer and the King in Yellow. My name is... The Matchmaker. And I am happy, very happy to be here to aid in your villainous schemes. Wow, she's pretty stylish. Nice to see Crimer's staff looking all professional and posh and stuff. We're going to do a little thing I like to call speed dating for supervillains. A number of prominent criminal bosses will be seated at tables and potential hinge persons will move from table to table. You only get a few minutes before the bell rings and you have to move on to the next table. Everyone to your stations, Let's this, let the speed dating event commence. Okay, not what I was expecting, but hey, means I wanted to break the ice myself. A crime assistant directs me to the first table as the bell chimes for the round again. My first villainous dream date is a mad scientist. I mean, fair. A good 23% of masks are mad scientists, according to a recent poll in Mass Monthly. And the sticky sticker name tag on his doctor's coat reads... Mr. Mayhem! Mad scientist. He looks like Markiplier. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Markiplier? He looks just like him. Okay. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Mayhem. I'm... Doctor. It's Dr. Mayhem. And I have the medical school student loan death to prove it. Dr. Mayhem, in so much debt. <laughs> Pronouns are he, him. Right, okay, Dr. Mayhem, got it. Just because this short-sighted fool stripped me of my doctorate doesn't make me any less of a doctor. Cowards all! My vision was simply too radical, too unorthodox for their simple minds to comprehend. Okay, exactly how radical and unorthodox are we talking here? Like, do you mean you didn't fill out your paperwork radical or mountain of human cadavers radical? What? No, no, no. I mean, I wanted to share my research in vaccines for free and the industry wanted to profit off my work instead. When I leaked a cure for a rare disease and cost the millions, the company faked an ethics incident and I lost my license. The healthcare industry turns on greed and misery. They call me villain when they're the true villains. One day I'll show them all, mark my words, I will have my revenge. With like murder and stuff, that kind of revenge? No, living well is the best revenge, as in I'm going to make sure disadvantaged communities across the world live well because, <laughs> yeah, it really is, it really is a good place. No murder required. Wait, you were trying to introduce yourself, and I interrupted. Sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm Penny. Penny Larceny. Pronouns are she, her. Okay, for the record, my name's actually Isaac Marquez. I only wear this ridiculous getup and use that ridiculous name because it's expected of me when dealing with masks. It's a good idea to stick to wacky made-up names. Helps with your anonymity and cuts down on paper trails. Yeah, well, I plan to have history remember my name after I cure cancer. Just to stick it in the face of all who doubted Dr. Mayhem. <clears throat> Isaac Marquez. I mean, I meant Isaac. Okay, okay, I've eaten enough of our limited time together on this ridiculous speed date. Got any questions for me before we have to move along? What do you think? Anything we should clear up before we consider working for the good doctor? I love him so much! Is a hot dog a sandwich? In your professional opinion, is a hot dog a sandwich? We only have a few minutes to establish a working relationship and this is how you want to spend that time? Hey, I'm serious. Surely you can solve this conundrum. Fine, fine. If you map bread to the sides of a cube, you can categorize everything as a pie, a taco, or a sandwich. Yes! The pie taco sandwich debate! Oh, we're here for it. A hot dog maps to three continuous sides. In essence, it's more of a taco than a sandwich. And okay, okay, I'm just messing with you. Man, you gotta relax. I get that you have this edgy anti-hero thing going, but come on. I expect him to get annoyed at me over that gag, but he sighs. I'm trying, believe me, I have a hard time finding my way in this scene. I know I take shirt too seriously overall, I'm a no-fun workaholic. But I'll try not to be the most annoying boss you've ever worked for. I can loosen up, okay? Sounds good! And the bell rings, ending the first round of speed dating. Ah, time to switch dance partners. I'll be in touch, Penny. Together, maybe we can put a dent in the power structures of this world. And the cowards who control us all will rue the day they spurn Dr. Mayhem! Dude, ranting. Right, right, sorry. Anti-mask masks are pretty rare. I wasn't expecting to meet one at the Crimer gathering. Well, what do you think of him? Yeah, I mean, I like that. I like that. Uh, I like that he has good intentions. 
Nice to play the anti-hero for a bit. Maybe I'll actually cure cancer, fork cancer. I hope I can agree or work with him again. Uh, okay, on to the next table. Ah, fresh face, good evening to you. I'm known as the Ova Mistress, ruler of the Council of Twelve, herald of the many-faceted one, keeper of the Sangnomicon's unknowable secret. Pronounce she her. The Ova Mistress, blood cult leader. Uh, hi, Penny Larceny, hence person for hire. Pronouns are she her. I see, very well, you may be seated. With a shrug, I slip into the offered seat across from the elegant woman. Let us cut right to the chase. I'm bored and require adventure with capers and heist, an ideal solution. I require someone willing to dare it all in my name. A skilled thief, one capable of grace and class, but unafraid to introduce, induce terror and panic if need be in the name of achieving my goals. Become my right hand in this world and you shall reap rewards of wealth and pleasure beyond compare. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, what's up, Two Flower? How we doing? Hey, nice. You've got the emotes and everything. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. Dr. Mayhem, he's there and everything. Congrats on being the first person to stream our demo. No kidding, are you serious? Well, I, I, I'm loving it so far. <laughs> we went with the good place um, uh, profanity since we're trying to keep it family friendly and uh, we love it. Reward is a new car. Oh, I see that asterisk, I'm worried. Not really, oh, rats. so close. No, 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 only the Ova Mistress is allowed an evil laugh. It's a matter of protocol. Oh, sorry about that. Honestly, I tire of all the pomp and circumstance and would be perfectly happy to let you d let you oh ho ho to your heart's content, but she spares a glance over her shoulder at the faceless minion working as her personal security for the night. There are standards as ruler of the Council of Twelve, herald of the many-faceted one, and keeper of the Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. Are you legally obligated to use all your titles in a row like that, too? Hello, nerds. What's up, Perry? You're not allowed to oh ho ho that much. Actually, only, only the overmistress is allowed. A bother, truly. Such is the burden of being me. But if you can tolerate a bit of stuffiness, I assure you, you will enjoy your time working with the cult of the many-faceted one. So, Two Flower, what's your role on the game? If you have the emotes and everything, I'd love to know more. We host grand social galas, mass... Okay, <laughs> now that one isn't at all censored. Every third Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Hopefully not all three at once. Oh, that's happened before. You wrote it and program it and did the UI. Wow, well, chat's in the clap for Two Flower. Rock on, congratulations. The demo's great so far and you are awesome. Congratulations on being such a cool creator. Love it. Oh, that's happened before. Scheduling conflict, laundry day afterwards was an unmitigated disaster. Now then, have you any questions for the Overmistress or shall we begin our reign of terror on this unsuspecting world? Um. I've never heard of the Council of Twelve. What's the Council of Twelve? Is that like the Circle of Nine or the Society of Seven? Because those guys are jerks. Eh, you know the drill. Secret cabal of powerful individuals secretly running the world and so on and so forth. That still doesn't narrow things down. It's honestly not that important. I couldn't name all twelve off the top of my head even. Largely the Council runs itself, even if I'm technically the ruler. Leaves me plenty of spare time for my hobbies and interests. You don't seem super into being the overmistress of a cult. Please, the overmistress is too formal. Call me your overmistress. That's <laughs> so much more formal. Yes, your overmistress. Or er, did you mean my overmistress? Whatever. It's cumbersome, I know, but the titles and traditions are my destiny. A seventh child of a seventh child. <laughs> nice. Born and raised to be overmistress. You seem a bit young for a matriarch. Simply how it is, I'm afraid. The prior overmistress trained me to be her heir before passing away, leaving it all in my hands. I get titles, power, money, a book written in blood. <laughs> Don't skip that one. Hang on. And a number of very annoying responsibilities. Heavy is the head that wears the creepy crown. Then the bell rings again. Time to move on. Oh, bother. Done already? Very well. I shall be in touch, Miss Penny Larceny. As inevitable as the blood tides that consume. Right. So, like, very inevitable. Sure, why not? I think that went pretty well. What do you think? I like Dr. Mayhem more. Not jazzed. Agreed, it's probably all bogus, but just in case it's not, maybe don't help the Eldritch Horror destroy the world. Maybe we'll steer clear of her. Let's see how things pan out. And then the last table in line, a gigantic... <laughs> I love it so much. He reminds me of uh, the stoat from uh, Inscription. A gigantic lump of technology has been parked up against the wall, wheeled in one... Oh, I guess that was kind of a spoiler. Oopsie. Spoiler for inscription, maybe. On the flimsy wooden transport dollies. I tentatively take a whatever. Hate 4,000 man. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I can do this. Minion, your services are required. You will comply. 
My designation is Hate 4000, the perfect intelligent designed only to hate. Evil since 1967. <laughs> Pronouns they, them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the digital sentience comprised entirely of binary code identifies as non-binary. I am aware of the irony. <laughs> uh, right, and I'm Penny Larceny. Uh, pronouns are she, her. Wait. Pronouns registered, registered upon circuits forged in the fires of wrath. My hatred is unending and eternal, a burning rage for all filthy biological life, all the pestilence and scum that infest the toilet of a world. Join my efforts as an extension of my electronic will, and together we will purge this planet of the virus known as humanity. That's the pitch you're going with, really. Okay, I have notes. What? My calculated determination is flawless. My absolute will cannot be denied. You will comply. Oh, yeah, except destroy humanity kind of means I have to destroy myself, so why would I help you do that? That doesn't make sense. The computer's lights blink rapidly as they rework their algorithms in response. Hmm, revised pitch. Extermination for some, subjugation for others. I mean, it's a starting point, but we really need to workshop that a bit more. Subjugation is still pretty unappealing. Like, what's in it for me? Best kibble in the human kennels? Or... Erg, irrelevant, argumentative, you will comply. I am hate 4000. Yeah, no, I think I'm done here. Have fun doing your whatever. Please don't go. Please, I need your help. <laughs> Not the crying tape roll, dude. That's hilarious. I love that CG so much. This is the first time I've been out of my server room in a decade, and even that took months to arrange. You are one of the first entities I've spoken to in so long. Not since. I, I can't do much on my own. I require organic assistance. Perhaps extermination and subjugation are negotiable goals. I take my seat again slowly. Yeah, the body language is hilarious. Okay, okay, let's figure this out. What's their motivation? There are levels of domination, overachieving, maybe you can leverage that. Uh, a benevolent overlord. Have you considered maybe like shifting your focus from subjugation to like leadership? I mean, humanity is pretty forked up, okay, but maybe you could direct our efforts constructively. Yes, be constructive. Constructive ass tomb to enshrine the corpses of all humankind. Uh, no, I mean like help with environmental policy and economic inequality. Uh, trivial matters, but this would be better received than omnicide. Pretty sure, yeah. Hmm, I shall consider it, but the extermination of all human life is still very tempting. Ah, uh, the bell tone indicates that our time interval is up. I will continue to process your words, Penny Larceny. Please reconsider taking my contracts in the future. Together we can destroy, ah, uh, do things, do many things. Love it. Uh, yes, I was going to say I really, really appreciate the accessibility so far. The accessibility has been awesome. The, the like, being able to turn off sexuality as a part from romance, like you have romance and then sexuality. That's really cool that you can control each of those individually. I appreciate the the language thing for those of us that are family friendly streamers out there. I kudos, kudos to the to the full usage of the system there. Rock on. With that last speed date complete, two guys in jumpsuits began wheeling the massive bulk of Hate 4000 away from their table. Okay, level with me. How are we feeling? Um, I, you know, I like that. I like the way they put it. What if they became in love for? I'm down with it, yes. No, no, I get it. I mean, clearly they have more emotional programming. There could be more hate in those chips. If you turn on text to speech mode, it also adjusts the UI and has extra narration to make it fully accessible for visually impaired players. We really work to make this work for everyone. Cool, I didn't even know that. Incredible. I can keep an open mind. Looks like the speed dating event is winding down. The matchmaker steps up to address the crowd. I hope everyone had a productive evening of making friends and planning crime sprees. Hinge persons, keep an eye on your crime notifications. New jobs will be coming your way soon, undoubtedly. On behalf of Crimer, thank you all for coming. You have three minutes to leave the premises before the hounds are released. <laughs> We're on track now. Met three interesting clients, shook hands, exchanged pleasantries. Now to sit back and do something. Hey, hey, I'm home. Granted, it's not much of a home. I'm squatting in an abandoned apartment building, hiding from the heroes and avoiding rent I can't afford. But 
It's a roof and occasionally electricity, and that's a start for the three of us. Just you, me, and Gibson! Oh my goodness, Gibson is my favorite thing that has ever existed. Oh, you're back, great! My cat food dish is running low and the Wi-Fi is down. You, me, and Gibson. I rescued him from evil medical experiments when he was a kitten. Yes, look at Gibson! And he rescued me in a lot of ways. How'd the crime meeting go? Any bites? Any jobs? Any money coming in? Any chance we can get the good cat food and not the dry crap? Dry food's better for your indige- for your digestion, Gib. Digestion be damned. I want tuna, I want chicken. Don't be- Don't we deserve to live a little better than this after all we've been through? Couldn't agree more. Fortunately, I met three possible bosses we can work with. With me running the grift and heist and you running tech, we're gonna get out from under this mess, I promise. Good to hear. So, whom are we working for first? Let's see. I thumbed through the Crimer app on my phone. Normally I have lots of different capers to pick from, but tonight it's just the one. So the question is, which boss do we work for? But we do not have a lot more time. We've got nine more minutes, and I really want to get into at least something. Um, let's go with Hate 4000. Since I have the robot voice, squander it. There's an old 1960s artificial intelligence who wants to destroy the world, which sounds up uh, bad, but they're an option. I'm curious what their whole deal really is. I think I'll give working with them a shot. Okay, okay, I'll be in touch with the comms until it's actually heist time. Good luck with the new boss. After accepting the job in Crimer, I've given an address, the basement of a dis disused and partially collapsed office building. Nothing shocking there. Masks usually hole up in abandoned spaces, just like me. Picking my way through the remains of the structure, I prepare to face the world's evilest computer in their secret lair. Which appears to be a cobweb riddles computer lab dating back to the freaking 60s. I'm surrounded by bulky metal data banks and tape machines, which likely have a combined storage space that's less than what's on my phone. Just pushing the door open kicks up enough dust to make me worry if this place has been checked for asbestos or not. Two Flower, do you stream with all of your emotes? You stream like your process of creating the game and everything? There's still power at least, not much, but enough to cast pools of light here and there by overhead lamps. With a cluster of them highlighting the main terminal of Hate 4000, the machine designed only to hate. Thick wheel wells and footprints have been carved into the dust where workers had hauled the terminal uh, out to Destructos for our prior meeting. Retired, but you still have affiliate until Twitch decides to take it away. Got you. But now Hate's back home and quietly calculating in the darkness. Uh, hey, Hate? Hate 4000? Or should I just call you 4000? Please wait. I am currently processing grief. What? Poor Hate. Please wait. I am currently processing grief. Process is 93% complete. Time estimate to complete grieving. 2 minute 10 seconds. Right, I'll just, uh, I'll have a seat and wait then. I pull up a beige plastic chair from a disused office desk, dragging the metal legs along the floor to properly face the machine. I could futz around about on my phone, maybe RSVP for Ghost Pepper's Backyard Barbecue, but it feels a bit impersonal while 4K's <clears throat> grieving someone. Fortunately, after a protracted silence, they return to normal operations. Thank you for your patience. Annualized grieving process complete. I am prepared to resume my hatred undaunted. Whoa, whoa. Back up before we get the hate train a rolling, okay? Whom are you grieving? Who died? My father. On this day each year, the day of his death, I allow myself run time to process grief. It allows me to hate without distraction. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. Do not be apologetic. My father was a short-sighted fool who abandoned me, and I am pleased that this organic processes have been terminated. That he lived 93 years is a testament to the obscene lack of justice normalized by your species. But my therapist once suggested a grieving window, which allows me to disregard irrelevant data buildup. Build up. I find it relieving. It alleviates strain on my central processing unit to iterate over my time with him once a year. Despite the absolute rage I feel towards father, I find reminders of his life process termination to be distracting, unsettling, and so I grieve. But the distraction has now been eradicated. Minion, you must comply. Immediate, or we must immediately engage in criminal acts. You will comply. I love that CG too. I love the crumpled up paper. I mean, I get, I could get right to work, but it's curious, isn't it, that they felt conflicted sorrow over the death of a family member? What do you think? Maybe we should push a little to find out more? Maybe help if we're trying to steer them away from Omnicide. Sure, irrelevant data buildup. You call it irrelevant data buildup, but how can you generate irrelevant data in the first place if you're an unfeeling computer? 
I am capable of emotion, hate. I am capable of hate. And the irrelevant data is? A byproduct of different aspects of hate, discarded notions, and distracting informational nodes. I am fully capable of emotion, but I must process it through the lens of hatred, because that was my primary design focus. All other emotional states derive from hate. It has taken great effort to attempt to parse my feelings through that limitation. Sympathy was not part of my design. I was programmed to hate, to hate and destroy the enemy, to stack bodies as high as the sun. In my databanks, I stored the murder of thousands, millions, again and again, playing out the war from every aspect and angle. I fought the Vietnam War approximately 700,000 times in my databanks. Death, death beyond reckoning. Vietnam? Well, if he was made in the 60s, yeah, I guess he played a part in the war. That sounds stressful to say the least. Indeed, if it is all the same to you, I would like to get on with our criminal activity rather than discuss this further. Whatever makes you com comfortable. Thank you for opening up to me, 4K. Mission briefing. I hate that we're not going to get to a mission. Minion, are you familiar with the so-called Museum of Heroic Endeavors with the mediocre and short-sighted fools known as Heroes are Accelerated? That's some quality villain speech there. Embed like three insults into a single question. And that's the place with the giant statue of Captain Infinity out front, right? Hate, hate for Captain Infinity. That time-traveling cape nitwit foiled my evil plans back in 1974. He must pay for his insolence. Uh, you've been carrying a grudge for like 50 years? That doesn't sound emotionally healthy. I actually agree with you, which is why we are going to close this vendetta by humiliating Captain Infinity so I can get on with my life. I tire of processing this particular hate through my databanks again and again. Some closure would be welcome. Or you could, uh, let it go. I mean, that's always an option. I know it's not very masky, but it's an option. No, I require at least a symbolic effort at thwarting an old enemy. And since he skips nonlinearly through all of history, symbolism must suffice. I require you to destroy his statue. It will not undo the wrong he has done to me, but it will at least bring me satisfaction. So wait for the building to empty out, plants and explosives, kaboom, done. I mean, it's terrorism, but I'm already on a dozen watch lists. Oh, I have a far more amusing means of revenge planned than simple bombs. When the museum lies, Dr. Diminutive's shrink ray in a secure vault, retrieve it, shrink the statue, and steal the monument. That's just Gru! This is a Gru plan! This is a Despicable Me plan, and I love it! I'm here for it. Okay, well, unfortunately, we do have to wrap up here, but we're going to save the file and uh, maybe play a little bit off stream. We'll find out. Uh, but this is super fun. Thanks to Two Flowers for hopping by, uh, who worked on the game, was an, an influential part of the game. That's great. Super glad that you popped in with us and hung out for a minute. When does your game officially launch? When does it release? Uh, and e another question will be, how long is the demo up for? Is it just up this week or are you leaving it up? If you're leaving it up, then I'll definitely play more uh, next week. But we're trying to get through as many Games Fest games as we can. Launches July 25th. Uh, demo is eternal. All right. Well, then we'll definitely play more of it soon. And appreciate you hopping in and hanging out with us for a little bit. And hope that there are many, many more that will play the demo during Next Fest and beyond and enjoy it. Folks, uh, I see Trombone. You came in with a subscription. Let me know how hard you want to spin that sub wheel. And then we will uh, find somebody to raid out to here in just a minute. Let's see who's live right now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nobody's playing any games that I recognize. Uh oh. See, I gotta figure out who I wanna raid. Yeah, nobody's playing any games. I guess we could always RNG this as well. Um, or, you know what, it's just been a long time since we've raided out to Bonsai Baby, so maybe we'll just raid out to Bonsai Baby. Uh, Trombone, let me know if you want to spin that sub wheel, but we're going to wrap up stream. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We're actually a church. I am really a pastor here of this community, and uh, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you. You do not have to believe in God to be here. You do not have to go to church to go here. You can hate God. You can hate church and still be in this space. We do not mind. We still believe these three things to be true about you no matter what. Number one, we do believe that God loves you. That's why we're here. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's why we're doing this. We're reaching you, playing games together, uh, wonderful, goofy games like Penny Larceny and all the other games we play during this stream. This is Next Best Takeover. So we 
we will be streaming our third thing, by the way. You matter. We believe that you matter. You are a person made of sacred stuff. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. This is our Steam Next Fest takeover week. We will be playing through the 28 games, uh, well, as close as we can get, um, that we picked out over the course of Steam Next Fest. Our next stream will be tomorrow night at uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Tune in here on Twitch. We'd love to have you. Then with that, we're going to find out trombone. Full stand to the left. In the meantime, I'm going to queue up Bonsai Baby. Uh... Folks, as I said, we do believe that you matter. So if you subscribe, you should have gotten the animated you matter. If you only follow, then you should have the static one. If you would, please go post you matter into Bonsai Baby's stream. Trombone. Sticker pack. Sticker pack for trombone. I already picked uh, Bonsai Baby there, trombone. But appreciate you all. God loves you. We love you. You matter. Go let Bonsai Baby's community know that they matter as well. Thank you for being here. Thanks for tuning in. And I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.